Good morning boys and welcome to this week's Headmasters blog. It's Friday the 15th of May and we have just one week of virtual school before a well-deserved rest at half term. But of course it's not going to be a normal half term. None of us unfortunately are going to be jetting off to the south of France or other Mediterranean climes. However it will still be a chance for us to rest, regroup, ease our mind and start to think earnestly about the prospect of returning to school to some degree of normality, we hope, before the end of this term. You may well have heard Boris Johnson's announcement by your parents or the newspaper or even on the news by the television that on the 1st of June, that is the first Monday after half term, we will be planning to welcome back pupils in year one and in year six. And if you are in that year group, then your parents have been spoken to and you have been invited to return subject to the latest data and scientific advice at that time. It may well be pushed back, but at the moment, plans are afoot here in school to open our doors to you on that Monday, the 1st of June, which is really exciting. And we can't wait to start welcoming more of you back. I just want to uh, put a note of caution in and say, boys, you will be returning to a school that's going to be a little different. The first thing to say is that not everybody is going to be there from your class or your cohort, because other boys and families may well choose to stay at home and continue the online learning at home until the end of the term. The second thing to say, of course, is that the other year groups won't be there yet either. They will be phased and reintroduced on a week by week basis as the government determines. We will have, I think, most of our staff in, especially those who will teach the boys who are going to be here, but we will try and conduct lessons in the same sort of way that you've been doing at home, on a streamlined timetable and in a way that can be accessed both by those in front of the teacher in the class and um, those who are still at home for as long as humanly possible. The other thing to say is that if you do come into the school, it is incumbent on you to listen really carefully and apply common sense. There are going to be some new rules in place, new rules about personal hygiene, hand washing and social distancing. The way that you play at break times is not going to be normal. You're going to have to be really grown up and really responsible, both for your own safety and welfare and for those of others. So I want you just to make sure that you understand your part to play in this. We are really looking forward to having you back in. We're looking forward to having business as usual and welcoming back all of our boys. And I really hope that before the summer holiday, we are going to have almost all of you back in the school again. But whatever happens, I'm really confident now that when we get around to September, I'm hopeful that we can crack on and have a much more normal term lying ahead of us. You've all done remarkably well. Keep up the hard work, keep up your spirits, and when you do, as and when you do, return to the school, just be mindful that you have got a really important job to play, both individually and collectively, to help the school start to get back to some degree of normality. Now, I've got a lot of well dones to say this week. So I'm going to start in lower prep. Well done to James Wan, who received a commendation for fantastic research on Scottish islands. It's been also a super week for Zane Jarwed, who's got two commendations, one for a beautifully drawn and decorated island, and another for a shop poster advert. So well done to you. Jamie Chatfield has been nominated. He is always ready to start his work at home. He's juggling his commitments to classwork and the study centre with aplomb. So well done to you, Jamie, in year two. Moving into year three, it's been a really busy week with Mrs. Marskell. She is so impressed with you boys. Ben Scudamore has been working hard at home and making wonderful progress with his mathematics. Fraser Schmidt has designed an amazing game in PE called Cheese Fondue. And Ben Scudamore, again nominated for Super Maths Work by Mrs. Darvishes, so well done, Ben. Hugo Hawksley has designed a brilliant elephant puzzle. Lewis Lockhead has done super work in literacy and wrote a lovely story about a robin. Ryan Lockhead has made a fabulous boat out of cardboard. Sebastian Phillips with his dad also made an amazing boat. 
and Torin has used a family photo to make a puzzle. Frankie Wintle has made a boat using an apple box and a bubble wrap, and he even made a mast. And Cameron Edwards wrote a fabulous fiction story about a buffalo. So boys, that sounds wonderful. Well done to you. In year four, Jamil Hashemi has been practicing his violin and even having virtual lessons during lockdown. And he played one of his pieces to the class to cheer them up. So well done, Jamil. Barnaby Atkins has received a commendation for sending an excellent video of himself naming various fruits in French from the delivery that his parents received at home. Madame Swift was suitably impressed. George Pritchard, fantastic perseverance and determination when editing an English persuasive letter. Miss Smith, really pleased with you. And uh, Mrs Lambert has nominated Byron Miller. Every single piece of work he sends is of such a high standard and he made a fantastic lower prep monitor video for year four to encourage and motivate them. Byron, it's lovely to hear that you're taking such a sense of responsibility for your peers. Well done. In the upper prep, Tristan in 5C has sent Mr Bailey a great video of him building a solar-powered Perspex house. The video has an excellent commentary explaining in detail how the solar charging system works. Darren also sent Mr Bailey a video, a time-lapse video of him and his family making a traditional communicator with string and earpieces. So well done, Darren. Kieran Schmidt and Adam Gratton have been mentioned by Mrs Seaver. Kieran for being so bright and cheery every morning and having a super attitude and Adam for great organisation and diligence. William Baker has been nominated by Mrs Pickin for showing real resilience in study centre literacy lessons. It is sometimes really tough to have an extra lesson squeezed into an already busy day, but William has shown real maturity and determination even when tired. William Baker, well done to you. That is great to hear. Now, uh, Mr Hendry has nominated Ben Schumacher and James Miller showing excellent effort in geography and history this term and producing excellent work. He says he's really impressed with you boys. Uh, into year six, 6F this week have been looking at pulleys. A few of the boys have taken on the challenge and created a film of their pulleys in action. So well done to Otis Edwards, Jasper Wong, Edward Collins and Ibrahim Mohammed. You have all received a commendation. And Paul Barrow, nominated by Mr Barrett, for excellent continued hard work in science. In maths, John T. Ward has consistently produced work of a very high standard. When the class are provided with additional tasks, John T. will complete all of them. Year 6S, Form 6S, Maths Group in general have been working really hard on a project of designing a geometrosity using all the knowledge of geometrical shapes and terminology which they covered whilst designing their city. So well done to that form. Miss Ruiz is really pleased with you. Um, in 6C, the boys have really, really impressed Mrs Dean with their creative ideas during Geography Enrichment Week. They each chose an explorer to research and then decided how they would like to present what they found out. Um, Matt Lopez researched Neil Armstrong and made a fantastic Lego model of Apollo 11. Elliot Nicolau and Bailey Partridge both chose Shackleton and created wonderful posters. Ollie Dimmock chose Ferdinand Magellan and painted a beautiful picture of his ship. Dylan Rogers produces a very professional PowerPoint about Christopher Columbus. And Kobe Wood drew a map showing Marco Polo's expedition route. Super work, boys. Theo Walker in 6F has been making sure his family don't go hungry and helping out in the kitchen. His chicken, leek and mushroom pie looked delicious, comments Miss Wilson. And into year seven, Ivan Tutai has been recommended by Miss Makieska for his excellent observational drawing, which you will see in the newsletter. James Carr continues to work extremely hard and has received lots of house points and commendations. Ted Bunya Ames has been keeping up uh, with lots of achievements in his lessons in general and taken part in lots of enrichment activities. So well done to you, Ted. And Daniel Pepper again, working well in all of his subjects. 
On time to form period and listening carefully to what is being said, Miss Black is pleased with all of you. Uh, Lucas Cressy, well done to you for being focused and independent. Tarani for working hard and keeping focused. Alex Hill for great energy and motivation with science. And Rory Slater too for keeping focus in his science. Mr Barrett is pleased with all of you boys. Um, and back to mathematics, Ms Ruitz is really, really pleased with James in 7BL for exceptional note taking of the videos and subsequent completion of tasks from the quiz. Henry has continued to provide work of a really high standard despite initial technology problems at the start of the term. Ivan has achieved 100% across all of his Hegarty maths and Daniel Pepper and Joe Schooling for attempting all of the tasks set this term regardless of finding some of it quite challenging. Well done to you. In year eight, Joe Seeger has been busy at work with his modelling skills. He's managed to finish the Airfix Spitfire just in time for VE Day. Uh, Mr Bailey, really pleased with the detail that you managed to achieve there when assembling and painting the model. So well done to you, Joe. Uh, fantastic research on some French explorers and innovators. Uh, Ishmael Mohammed, Barnaby Hill and Ted Reese. Madame Taylor has nominated you three. And uh, Marcus Glenn has provided work of a very high standard in mathematics, both in taking notes and in your homework, as well as Anthony Mirnik. Well done to you from Ms. Ruitz. Uh, Mr. Barrett has nominated Ollie Kennard, Alfred Lewis and Hardy Youssef for great performance in science this week. And Theo Benzelar Pelli has been proactive, engaged and confident in your study centre session. He's taken control of his learning by listening to instructions and using his initiative, creativity and sense of humour during a difficult time. Mrs Austin has been really, really proud of you, Theo. Well done. Ted Reed, well done to you from Mrs McMurtry. You have received a very well-deserved commendation from Mr Sigdeo in mathematics for your independent work on Archimedes. And Ted Reese has produced a really informative and interesting PowerPoint exploration on Ferdinand Magellan from Mr Lordy. Into the seniors, Mrs Machieska would like to refer all of the Year 9 art group who have chosen the subject for GCSE, that is Ryan Luneman, Hugo Davis, Rory Gibbs, Milo Russell and Angelo Cooper. You've shown a great commitment and interest since the beginning of the term, not only keeping up to date with all of the material, but also in your drawings and your competition work. So well done to you boys. Um, in mathematics, Ryan gets another mention here for watching all of the video clips on Hegarty Maths before starting the quiz. And out of all of the groups that Miss Ruitz teaches, Ryan has clocked up the most hours and the most time watching the videos and completing the tasks. So that is wonderful to hear. And Ryan, I understand that the results you're starting to get are reflective of the efforts that you are putting in. So a great ambassador and example to all of us. Ryan, it is good to note. Well done to Sam Slaney, who's been mentioned by Miss Picken for really great work in the study centre for literacy sessions. You've been working hard annotating texts and providing some perceptive comprehension responses. So that's great to hear Sam. And Mr Mitchell, who has worked really hard with the Year 9 boys on their virtual Making of Modern Britain trip this week. Um, he has been incredibly impressed with the way that all of you have embraced this concept of virtual travel. We know how disappointing it must be for you not to be able to undertake the national best trip winning trip together with Mr Mitchell and the staff in reality. But the next best thing is to do it online. And you have embraced the project and you thought deeply about British values. He would like to say a special thank you to Max Mitchell Nesbitt and Ollie Savage for helping him to solve some technical issues earlier in the week. But actually all of you have done a great job there. Um, and there will be plenty to read about that in the newsletter just before half term. So thank you to Mr Mitchell for organising that. In year 10, James Tottenham has completed all of the tasks on Hegarty Maths, including an optional one. Miss Lewitz is really pleased with your endeavours. Ollie Phillips has consistently ensured that all of his work is handed in on time and to a very good standard with excellent effort all round. And Suyun Lee has produced detailed and clear notes for Computer Science, nominated by Mrs Webb. And into Year 11, 
Tom Gibson and Ben Inglis have shown a commendable ethic in classics this term. Mrs. Weston is really pleased with you. Um, Miss Black continues to be really impressed with Tom Gibson and his science work. And Ollie Bartlett and Ben Inglis in ICT have worked excellently on environmental issues regarding new technologies. So that just about rounds off yet another super week of Headmasters Dispatches. There are so many of you boys to read out. I really love doing it. And if you haven't had a mention yet, please work extra hard next week. If your teachers aren't nominating you, your parents can. So just give them a quick reminder. And if you want to hear yourself in these dispatches, yes, it has to be earned. But if we don't know about it, I can't put you in. Have a great weekend.